All right, guys, so it's the end of the day. Uploading this video, I figured I'd give you a little intro, a little context. Um, basically, I talked to this customer only a couple times via email. Tuner said erratic flow pattern. Uh, flow variance was too far out of spec. The injectors were untunable, and when he put them on the flow bench, they shut off at 43 PSI and then attempted to sell. We find out after I sent the customer the video, he said yes, he was attempting to sell me another brand's injector for much more money. So that's why I decided to make this particular video. I make these videos for a lot of customers. Anytime I hear some Wazoo story about what their friends flow bench or whatever, untunable, whatever, I make these videos, I upload them to the Google Drive, and I send them to the guys and I say, dude, 1% variance within 1%, all this stuff, your injectors were fine from the get go. You need to question whoever was telling you this stuff and question their motives as to why. I don't care if you don't want my products, somebody else will. You can tell we're sold out all the time. So I just want you guys to be happy and I want you guys to have your cars running. You know, I mean, my profit margins just show you that I'm not here to get rich. All right, so I hope this video has found useful to some of you guys, and it just sort of solidifies that not everybody has your budget in mind. They have their bottom line in mind. So, another customer says his tuner told him there is a massive variance in his snake eater performance injectors and they were untunable and they did not open over 43 psi and he wants a warrant all right so i told this particular customer hey mark the injectors in a specific way all this stuff um inconsistent flow pattern for a tuner Hey T, will you get me four of the plugs for the um, the bench? It looks like there's only four of these. For the um, the fittings right here, the thread-on ones with the O-ring in them. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. So I try to have the machine set up as best as I possibly could. Um, all right, I didn't want to look into the order. I wanted to come into this with like, you know, truly unbiased, open mind as much as possible. I didn't realize that it's only a, a four cylinder order. So a lot of the problems that we see with people saying like, oh, my tuner said they were untunable, got an erratic flow pattern. And, and then we hear they shut off at PSI X and it's usually 43 or 58 whatever the flow machine is trying to tell them that and it's just simply not true it's not possible we wouldn't have a, that's not a sustainable business model it's not um, I mean if we test these injectors up to their max and uh, operating PSI depending on the the body style that's anywhere from 92 to 140 um, these ones generally are these EV14 medium 1500s are around 140. And so it, it just isn't, it's just not believable that they're somehow not operating 
have 43 PSI. And the reason that happens is, is because people, the same companies and people who say, spend the money once on injectors, buy them for life, don't, don't buy the affordable ones or whatever, are the ones who buy the affordable flow bench that's $300 on Amazon or from O'Reilly's Auto Parts and don't realize that there's a max operating <clears throat> limit for those. And it's about 32 pounds per hour for the injectors. They, they are not made to flow a 1500cc injector. I mean, that's like five times the flow rate. So. There they go, they shut off at 130. So here they are at 130 PSI, all four firing, very consistent flow rate, or uh, spray pattern, excuse me. And we are providing it 0.5 amps at 13.8 volts. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is show you guys And so at 10 volts, their max operating pressure is 70 PSI. And that's the problem. That's what these flow benches are doing. They can't even supply 10 volts. That's, that's just the plain, simple truth. They just don't have the electrical system and what they rely on is the fact that most OEM injectors can operate as low as four and a half volts for extreme cold weather, low voltage starting operations. We do not incur that expense in manufacturing because we then have to transfer that on to you. In order to use a coil with the operating range of four to 32 volts like a, an OEM injector would do, I mean, we, we would have to add a substantial, like 50 to 60% to the price of our injectors. And, and we, you know, we sell motorsport injectors. These are intended for motorsport applications. You should have 13.8 volts going through your injector driver at all times. So back to 13.8 volts, 100 PSI. No problem. They've ran for 2,200 injections so far. Flow pattern is very consistent. Gonna run a 75% duty cycle test one at a time. Just gonna check the uh, the flow mats at the high end. I'm gonna check the flow mats on the low end. Just a quick two point, and basically what you're able to do by plotting two points is create that linearity graph. Um, ideally, you do a third point, which is just above the non-linear zone, right around 2.5 milliseconds actual opening time and that will give you your basically just off idle cruise characteristics. So as you can see, boom. Something tells me somebody was selling a more expensive injector. Or they possibly They possibly, a lot of tuners I've noticed, don't like to tune outside of their comfort zone. And that's because they have a nice big bank of 
tunes from previous builds that they've tuned. And basically, they they like to tune, you know, you'll see a lot of guys like, I tune LS engines, I tune Honda engines, I tune Mopar. And then there's some guys that do, they'll all tune anything, man, it, uh, the principles apply, whatever. But they these guys that specialize very deeply, they like to say, I tune with these injectors, I tune with this, 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 this. And then they have this nice little tune repository built. And when they see your build come in and it looks a lot like that guy from last week, boom, that $500, you know, no matter how long it takes, you know, 550, 600 bucks, whatever it is that they're, they're charging you, you know, instead of charging you by the hour, if they charge you just a flat rate for a tune, they're going to see like, wow, I can either have this done in seven passes and about, you know, 30 to 60 minutes, or I can spend four hours re-entering this, rebuilding a fuel table, rebuild all my, doing, redoing all my tab tables because I've never tuned these injectors before, or I can talk this guy out of them, see if he can get a full refund and then sell him, make 250 bucks or something like that on commission selling these injectors and I work less hard. So I'm not saying they're dishonest, but I'm saying like, you got to think that that's going to bias your, your decision-making uh, matrix, you know? It's like, do I want to turn and burn this dude and maybe actually take a lunch break today? Or do I want to sit here and actually earn that 500, 600 bucks and actually do tuning and calibrating on a system that I've never worked with? So low end. Pretty spectacular. See what our final flow variance is. It's like one and a half on the bottom end and about 0.5 on the top end. So. I don't know what to tell you guys. They clearly operate well over. They have a very reasonable flow pattern for a 1500cc injector and everything is most definitely within our advertised specification and most definitely within safe operating specifications. So, video is going to the customer and then video is going to YouTube. Totally unbroken, unedited. Sometimes I'll play music in the background so you know you can tell like uh, it was never cut or chopped or whatever but anybody who knows me knows that I know nothing about recording anything. This is being done on my iPhone and I'm gonna have to watch a tutorial on how to upload the YouTube video again. So, have a good one.